Hi everyone, I wanted to show you a piece that I made, like a display piece that I made recently. So first of all what I did is I took some canvas board and I cut it to the shape that I wanted to make the planchette shape. And then I cut out a circle at the end, which is like the viewing circle you normally get in a planchette. Um, and then proceeded to decorate it. So, and the reason I chose this canvas board was because I wanted some board that was like thick enough and strong enough that it's not going to like warp and bend when I glue stuff to it or get paint on it. So that's why I went for this. First of all, I took a resin skull from my um, set of key rings that I made. Uh, I've actually reused a few skulls. I'll go back another bunch of key rings. Um, and I just made this with resin, just using a... Um, mold that I got that I got online and once that was stuck in place I then went around the edges of the planchette with my hot glue going to form like a, a ridge around the edge and I did that all the way around it's just it was just like to add a bit of um like a little bead of like a raised area around the edge of the planchette um, it was just so it would not look so flat and also it forms like a border so you'll see later on when it's all painted and everything that it um, it just finishes off that edge, edge nicely so it catches the um, stuff I put on afterwards and obviously this is all going to get coated in PVA glue and tissue paper so it doesn't matter if it's not 100% perfect but obviously the neater you can get it the better and obviously here it looks a bit rough so what I did afterwards is I did go over it again and then just use the the heat of the glue gun um, just to sort of smooth that those edges down later on that's all I did for this And then I also went around the edge of the uh, circle that I cut out as well for the, like, the little viewing window. And went around that with the hot glue as well, again, just to finish off the edges. And it'll form like a raised area, which will show up when I do the um, dry brushing later on. It just adds a bit more detail to it, really. And then what I did once I had finished going around the edges just to create that sort of border and sort of bit of decoration around the edges, um, I just took off any little wispy bits of glue and then drew on where I wanted the tentacles to go because I knew I wanted this to be like a, almost like a skull headed octopus type thing um, for the design. So I drew on the first two um tentacles like so and then drew the third pair and this was I did this in pencil because I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything because obviously I need to make sure I've got eight because obviously octopus has eight tentacles I then drew like sort of it's almost like webbing between the um, tentacles to make it look like they're joined to a body of sorts and that was the basic design for for this I did draw a little rectangle here because I was going to have some sort of label or something but I changed my mind in the end and I drew a very rough um, version of the planchette shape for the top point as well and then the next job was to go over all of that with hot glue once I'd made sure it was all even and drawn as accurately as possible so the first thing I did was the heart shape and I just filled that in with plenty of hot glue. Um, made sure I filled the whole area in and it formed like a little heart shape, like domed heart shape in the end. I would have liked to have used like a mould and made this some of these pieces out of resin but I just used what I've got. And then I used my little trick to make little beads of uh, hot glue on the surface to form these little bumps which later on will show up when I dry brush 
and I created a bunch of those as decoration around the planchette, around the uh, central um, picture. And then what I did as well was I used the hot glue to also go over where I drew those tentacles because I knew I wanted to form those with hot glue. Um, so I used that when used the hot glue to go over all those lines and to fill in all the spaces. And once I did that and it had all cooled down so the glue had all set, then the next thing to do was to paint it all black. I was originally going to just paint it black and then put the dry brushing over the top. But then I decided after painting it black that it did look better if I coat it in a layer of PVA glue and tissue paper like I normally do. Because this smooths out the edges and blends it in a bit more. Makes it more look, look like it's more sort of embossed into the surface of the planchette as opposed to like just stuck on. Um, so I did paint it black uh, first of all. Which is fine because I mean it stops any little gaps coming through later on of white. Um, but then I did, once it was dried, put a layer of PVA glue and tissue paper over the top. And then when that was dry, I painted another layer of black. And then I used eyeshadow because I'd seen someone use eyeshadow on something. Um, and it created like this nice sort of metallic -y effect, but with like different colours and stuff. So I used a lot of blues and silvers in this um, and did various ones. This is from an old eyeshadow palette, like an old um, sleep palette I'm using. That's got some like, it's like a metallic-y glittery blue eyeshadow in it. And it's, a, it's an eyeshadow palette that's too old to use on the face. So I'm recycling it by using it in my artwork, which is what I'm doing with quite a lot of stuff that's um, outdated and I can't wear on my face anymore. So I went over the whole thing in like a very light, bluey, silvery, glittery eyeshadow. And I like the effect that it creates. And obviously it's not the brightest, but I didn't want like a really bright planchette. I wanted it to have this sort of metallic-y, bluey, silvery look to it, but also not be like super bright and gaudy. Um, I didn't want it to like distract away from the... Uh, decoration I wanted it to look like quite a gothic style of uh, planchette so I went over it with the blue blue sparkly eyeshadow as you can see there I went over the skull a little bit as well and I also used the silver to go around all the edging um, to go around all the edge of the whole thing uh, where I put that raised bit of glue as you can see, I'm just doing that here. It made the edges just stand out a little bit more and just added a bit more variation in the colour. I didn't want it to just be one solid block of a colour. I wanted it to look like a mixture of colours. Um, and obviously any dust or anything that went onto the background, I just, I just blew that off and then touched up any areas um, where there was gaps in the background with some more black paint. The background for this is a piece of card that's been coated in a layer of PVA glue and tissue paper and then painted black. And then the frame is actually a damaged canvas box frame, box canvas. And all I've done is I've removed the canvas from the frame and then stuck the cardboard with the planchette stuck to it at the back of the frame. Um, so I've recycled this box canvas that was damaged and turned it into a frame instead. Obviously, it's got no glass in, but that kind of works because I've got the wings of the uh, skull Cthulhu thing in the middle. Um, I've got them 3D and sticking up. Obviously, I didn't want any glass in the front because it's just going to um, make it harder to put this in the frame. And also what I did is with my finger and the gilding wax stuff I've got in silver, I also went over it as well. There were some areas where I wanted to make it stand out a bit more um, and I like the sort of almost gunmetal silvery type colour that you get from using the um, luster wax stuff over the top of black acrylic paint. I, I like the effect. So I went over any areas I wanted to stand out a bit more. Um, 
So I went over like, the skull, I went over the wings, I went over all the details that I'd sort of created with the hot glue gun because um, I wanted them to stand out more. So you'll see as I go around, the details start showing up a bit more. And I use this especially on the areas where I pre uh, created the tentacles and that sort of thing. Again, to make all those details really pop and really stand out from the surface of the planchette. I also use the silver to go around the edge, the very edge of the planchette as well. Can you, As you can see, look, when I go over it with the silver, it really makes those details stand out a lot more. So you get the detail of the tentacles sticking, out, sticking up and showing up a lot better. It just added that last little bit, that last little touch to the look of it. I really like how that effect works. And it's just hot glue, tissue paper and uh, black paint and then you go over it with like a little bit of silver paint or a little bit of gilding wax, that sort of thing. This is a metallic luster, um, it's like a gilding wax stuff that I got from my local craft store. And as you can see it just really makes those details pop, which is what I like about using it. And did that all over to make sure all the tentacles stood out and then went over the wings to make those stand out. Also, as you just saw on the back, you could see the box, the cereal box that I used for the background. I did later on go over that with some and, and stick over the top of that a piece of thick black card just to finish the back of the canvas off and um, the back of the frame off uh, and just make it look finished. I didn't want to leave it with that visible cereal box design showing and I thought well if I paint it it's just going to make the cereal box card warp more so I just put another piece of thick black card over the top afterwards I just um, hot glued it to the frame and, st and stuck it all over and as you can see here now what I'm doing is I found like a brighter more silvery blue colour and I'm adding little patches of that here and there just to vary the colour here and there of the planchette and then obviously any bits that get on the frame, I was just wiping them off with a cloth. And as you can see, it just varies the colour a little bit and just adds some little darker, more bluey areas to the thing. And I think it just finished it off just nicely, just having those little variations in colour. And you won't see it on camera, but what I did afterwards, once I finished with the um, this mixture of bluey silver eyeshadow, is I got some little rhinestones that I've got, and I've got varying sizes on this little this little tub, and I used those and stuck those around in different places to look like jewels on the uh, planchette to make it just add that last little bit of detail to it. So I didn't actually record that bit. This is what it looked like when I'd finished painting it. And then in a second, I'll show you a photograph showing what it looks like when it's got all the rhinestones added. And I also used some of that um, luster wax stuff over the edge of the frame just to make it look a bit more like a finished frame. And just to add a touch of that silvery color that I like to the frame just to bring it all together. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.